The, the idea of this difference is that many people think that DH rider can win the urban DH races, but it's not true. It's a completely different sport and you need to focus on that one. It's already on such a big level that, that it's uh, hard to come from regular DH and then be winning in urban DH. There's just uh, several guys who are able to do that. You know, many people think that DH and uh, urban DH is a very similar thing. It's actually really different in the way of your setup of the bike, uh, in the way of consequences in urban DH. The consequences, if you make a mistake, are way bigger. And uh, uh, the fact that many people think that if they're winning at the DH and they will be winning at the urban DH is just all wrong. So uh, there are so many fast riders in urban DH who are, who are specializing just for that sport. And, it's really difficult to beat those guys. So this is the main difference between DH and Urban DH. Red Bull Sarabaco is having the longest history. Red Bull Valparaiso Sarabaco started already 20 years ago. So for all the riders who are competing in this competition, it's the highest level of Urban DH. So this is the biggest thing you can win in this sport. So that's why it's every one of Urban DH lovers are so stoked that we are having now the Red Bull Sarabaco series, which is, which is great for the sport and for the future. I'm actually really stoked that Red Bull Cerro Bajo is coming for the first time into Europe because uh, all the time I'm racing at Red Bull Cerro Bajo, I'm always in South America on the home soil of South American riders. And it's sometimes pretty difficult to be racing out of your home. But here we're going to be in Europe, we're going to be in Italy. It's not my, uh, uh, the country of birth, but it's still Europe and it, I can call it my home soil. So. Uh, maybe it's going to be a favor on my side uh, for the race because uh, I know the, the surface, I know the conditions here in Europe. So I'm really stoked it's coming here and uh, really uh, would love to see the South American riders coming here and seeing how they're going to do. For the first time when I came to Genova, the, the first thing I saw when I was standing on the top of the track, it was looking exactly the same like Valparaiso. If you compare the pictures from the starting line of Valparaiso and compare the picture of the starting line in uh, Genova, it's almost the same thing. It's like really like a European edition of Valparaiso. So, uh, you know, it's having really similar features. It's really having actually similar size of the track, similar vertical drop. So uh, this track is going to be really exciting because in Valparaiso, that one is, uh, that, that track wrote a history. So I hope they will be writing a history uh, in Genova here uh, at the racetrack as well. Uh, you know, whenever I come to, to the races, I, I always want, want to win. All the guys who are coming there, they're always aiming for the main goal, which is, which is winning the race. So uh, it will be for me as well, like a main goal to come here and take a win. Um, in the overall series standing, I'm not on a good position. I'm on a fifth play because I was uh, having technical issue in the first round. But, you know, uh, it's still one race to go. Anything can happen and uh, um, I will do everything what's in my power and my skills to be standing on a top spot here in Genova. First of all, I would love to thank the people of Genova that they are allowing us to host such a big event. It's a, it's a really big event, the one of the biggest events of the sport. So I'm really stoked for it that, that all people around here are so friendly and there is no other way than uh, inviting you all guys for joining us uh, in October when the final round of Red Bull Cerro Bajo is taking place here at your home in Genova.